Looking for a successful example of good private business and public service? Look no further than Hong Kong's MTR, its mass transit rail system, which after 26 years of successful municipal management became in 2005 a public-private combine and today has more shareholders than any company on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. How good is MTR's service? Customers say... Best in the world. And getting... Better and better, yes. The service is efficient, you can always rely on it, so uh, that's why I use it. It's an interesting place to live. Oh, according to Dr. Glenn Fromer, the MTR's head of sustainable development, more than four million people today rely on MTR, proof in itself of its success. Be it efficiency, reliability, maintainability, MTR ranks at the top or very close to the top. Hong Kong's MTR does its primary job, mass transit, as well as it does because it can. And it can because it's rich. And it's rich because it's one of Hong Kong's leading owners and developers of real estate. Even before it opened itself to the private sector, MTR had been given the right to develop properties over or adjacent to many stations. For example, at Central Station, with its in-town check-in and rail link direct to Hong Kong Airport. Just outside of the building is Hong Kong's current tallest building, IFC2, the home to the Monetary Authority and one of an excellent high-class shopping centers. MTR is invested in apartment blocks and shopping malls all over Hong Kong. Even MTR's electronic fare card has become one of Hong Kong's favorite consumer items. It's used in movie theaters and convenience stores. And it's every transaction directs more cash to MTR. The wealth enables MTR to offer very good public service well beyond just mass transit. For example, when MTR announced it would build a new rail line through the lower middle class neighborhood of Kennedy Town, there were fears it could be disruptive, especially to one unique bit of Hong Kong architecture. These walls have a great number of trees, banyan trees, which have grown into the walls, and it's, it's a beautiful uh, ecosystem with the tree keeping the wall in place. We talk about the locations of the stations in Kennedy Town. Consultant Betty Ho was part of a process of widespread community meetings. I knew about it, says Kwang Shek Wing, whose mother still lives in Kennedy Town, because, he says, MTR was constantly sending out notices. Everybody liked the trees, so uh, the public would like them to preserve that wall, so they suggest to relocate uh, to the terminus. District Councillor Stephen Chan says MTR agreed not only to move the original station site, but to replace a community swimming pool that the relocation had erased. An even more spectacular success has been the MTR's investment in Nong Ping, once an isolated Buddhist monastery, but now Long Ping is one of the famous uh, tourist spots in Hong Kong. Here, MTR invested in a cable car system to link the transit network to the monastery. It located the tramway to spare a fishing village, delicate ecosystems, and a religious community that's built on quiet contemplation. We wanted to ensure a transport means that would not cause any long-term scars to the hillside and allow the monks a quiet way of getting people to and from the monastery. Today, Nong Ping welcomes more than a million cable car customers a year to, among other places, Raymond Lee's restaurant. I think they're a very good uh, cooperator because they help us a lot in both in advertising and uh, doing business. For the Buddhists of Nong Ping, the MTR project has generated income and enlightenment. Uh, 
The environment is protected, says this visiting monk from mainland China, and everything's been set up so that visitors can learn all about the monastery. Now there's something to contemplate. Dave Marish, World Focus, Hong Kong.